Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I am going to show you how to align XC before performing our procedure or XC treatment. I will also show you how to put injecting and holding needle inside the XC machine. Uh, this is a demo class, so I will just show you. I have done a little bit up and down to the XCs uh, so that you can check uh, how to align it properly. So we will first start with our joystick. This is the joystick which can take you to, you can see there is one is X axis, there is one up, there is one down, there is towards the left, towards the right. So you can see it towards yourself and the other direction as well. And there is one more button. Uh, this is uh, if you want to do everything in a hurry. So you just press it, the speed increases by it. And also there is one more button which is for the speed adjustment. We have kept it almost in the neutral, like it's not too high and it's also not too low. So going on to these axes which I was talking about, we have here this X and Y axis. You see this, uh, this point and the zero. Everything should be on the zero. So we are going to slide, slowly move it towards the zero direction as you can see now. Now this axis is aligned. Similarly, similarly, I will show you if you see this here, this is a little bit uh, towards my side, so I will move it towards zero. That means this side is also zero. Now, now we will go in the other direction and we will show you the other axis, which is uh, this y axis. It is also a little on the top, so I will get it down towards the zero. Now this is all set. Uh, at the same time we have to check uh, in our handle that uh, everything should be aligned in the middle. When we talk about the middle, if you see here there is 10, there is 5 and similarly then there is 0. So we always need to keep it around 5. So we are doing it right now. That comes the middle, that is the 0 of our machine. Similarly, if you see from the downstairs, you have 0, you have 5, you have 10. So this also needs to be always on the 5 direction. So like this, I will keep, I'm moving it. And this now is almost on the 5. So that means it is on the 0. Similarly, if you check this, alignment which, which, this, which is, this is used for fine focusing during the tip. So I will also keep it around 5. So you can see now 5 is visible clearly, that means it's neutral. We can use the same procedure in doing our holding, like I did. So I will move this again, and similarly I will move it, everything should be on the zero. So this is a little up, so I am getting it down. Now this machine is in the zero. I will also check uh, the status of its fine focusing, which is a little down, so I will keep it in the 5. Similarly here, if you see it is towards my side, so I will keep it around 5. The same thing we have to check here, it is almost in the 5 only, that means in the middle, then it's all set now. The next thing will be to take the injecting and the holding needle and then use them align properly thank you so next thing is to bring these needles this is holding needle towards the light you can see the tip is shining similarly this injecting needle also to bring it towards close to the light you can now see the tip is shining so after that what I will do is that uh, I will bring it a little closer so that I can see it properly. So for that, so now in this machine I can see it properly, but I think I can show it more towards the here. You can see the needle. So I will just straighten it up a little bit. Now, once it is visible, that means it's focused. 
you can see the needle clearly there. Similarly, I will bring uh, this holding needle. So this holding needle, I will drop a little down because it is still very high. So now it is almost very close, although I cannot show you because it is inside the microscope. But you can see clearly on the display now that uh, both holding, uh, which is from the left side, and inject, which is from the right side, are both aligned. Once they are aligned, then what we do then, we, we have a knob here which is supposed to tighten it. So I will tighten this knob so that they don't move during the procedure. Similarly, I will do the same with injecting. So once it is done, then they are fixed. That means our ICSI or our micro manipulator is aligned. Now we are ready to do our ICSI. Thank you. In this video, I will show you how to prime our ICSI and injecting pipettes uh, before starting our procedure of ICSI. So slowly I will dip drop them inside uh, this oil where to find where the oil is for example in between droplets so they are already aligned so I will just put them inside the oil so that some of the oil can go inside the pipettes you can see there now I think more clearly inside this uh, where I am dropping them this is the only And now I'm dropping injecting. Slowly I'm dropping it. You can see now injecting is becoming a little visible. Yes, so because it is all whitish, that means due to the capillary reaction, uh, the oil is going inside. Now I will take off my holding. When I mean take off, that means I am uh, taking it out of the dish and slowly I am moving my XC pipe towards the uh, PVP droplet. So if you see right now, now my XC droplet is, you can see the moving of the PVP inside this uh, needle. You see the level going up. So I will stop it here. I can show you again, you see the level, how it is moving. moving up and down, this is PVP and before that we have I sprayed some oil. So now we will stop it after some time, like here, and we are ready for immobilization. For more videos, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.